going to be sweet <laughs> because it still needs some more on there. Hi guys, how are you? It's Raquel and today I'm going to be making orange chicken using Panda Express orange sauce. So my chicken is already washed, so I'm just going to start cutting it up. So, and I have four chicken breasts. So one is already cut. I'm gonna move to the next one. I mean, you could use any amount of chicken breast you, you want to. So for this recipe, you need, as I said before, the orange sauce, the Panda Express, Mrs. Dash, you can use whatever seasoning you have, Old Bay, seasoning it's for chicken fish crab whatever meat you have i don't know about beef but you know um garlic sauce you need egg you need flour seasoning salt black pepper salt and poultry seasoning so my meat is cut washed and ready so i'm just gonna put them in this little bowl so I could season them. And I already show you guys all the seasoning that I'm gonna be using. Um, I don't know if I talk about the egg, but we also have the egg. Wash my hands. Seasoning salt. Poultry seasoning. This one is just roasted garlic seasoning. And this one is garlic powder. Some regular salt. Well, actually this one is pink Himalayan salt. The Old Bay seasoning. And then you just go in. Excuse the bangles and push them back up. <laughs> I have two eggs. I have brown eggs, but you can use whatever you want to use. And I'm just going to crack them in there because I'm going to fry it. So. What I'm going to do is um, just beat my eggs. So I like to season the flour. <laughs> Not a whole lot of seasoning, just a little bit of seasoning wrong side. Put some old day seasoning in the flour and some seasoning salt. Mix up my flour a little bit. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put the chicken, the egg, then into the flour. Try to get a good amount, you know, like get it really coated in the flour. So the flour is what's gonna make it a little bit crispy. So, and then into the pot. And make sure your your oil is a little bit hotter than mine.
Okay, so this scent is finished. And I'll put the rest in. And it takes, I would say, like 15 minutes to fry. If you have bigger piece, like this piece, probably need another minute or so. Okay, so now chicken is finished frying. I'm gonna add the orange sauce to it, the Panda Express orange sauce. And that's all you have to do. And it's really sweet, so you know, obviously you don't need too much. It all depends on what you know, you're liking anyways. But for me, I don't want it too sweet. I need a little bit more. need some more so I guess it's going to be sweet <laughs> because it still needs some more on there you know you go to um, Panda Express and they give you the orange chicken how it's really nice and saucy I guess I can't get away with not putting a whole lot on there because I'm going to need it and then I have some white rice just gonna go ahead and just put some on the, the side. And you know, if you want so to just drizzle some more on there or some on the rice, whichever you want to do. So, this is a finishing product it's very good the sauce is good the orange panda express sauce is really good it's an easy meal well i want to say that easy because it's like what um to, to fry all the little pieces of chicken take a while so even though it take 15 minutes to fry the chicken but if you have a lot of chicken that's what you know that's where the work come in that you have to sit and you know keep frying and frying and frying but it's good unless you have a deep fryer oh well yeah that's true too elvin just point out if you have a deep fryer that'd be great i don't have a deep fryer <laughs> i just you know as you guys see i fried in the you know the saucepan the frying pan and it took what like i would say about 45 minutes to do so it's not bad bad but it's not a quick quick meal you know but it's well satisfying. It's going to be worth the 45 minutes because it tastes really good. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Thumbs up the video. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye.